Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John 13, 34, 35. Love one another. At times, it seems to be easier said than done. John 13, verse 34, begins with Jesus saying, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. This wasn't just a request that he made of his disciples, but rather a stronger use of words. And if you think about the setting in which those words were spoken, it's even more powerful. I'm a child of the 60s and 70s and grew up listening to many songs about peace, love, and unity. Songs with titles like, All You Need Is Love, Let's Get Together, One Love, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand. I even remember that I wrote love one another all over my school notebooks and then decorated them with those brightly colored flowered stickers. Love, love, love seemed to be a strong force in trying to bring about change in a peaceful manner. Those words that Jesus spoke and the lyrics of those folk songs had a strong impact on me and I too believe that I can make a positive difference through love. Yet here we are, 50 years later, living in a world where at times it seems as though people have forgotten both the biblical text and the song lyrics. I think to myself, where are all those people now? Who's singing those songs today? We are, you and I. The truth of the matter is, I see people doing good need, deeds on a daily basis, all in the spirit of loving one another and reaching out with a helping hand. However, this is no longer brought into the mainstream, so sometimes we forget about it. It sometimes becomes too easy to focus on the negative because that's what we see in here. This coming Sunday is the first Sunday in October which means for those of us as Christians, it will be World Communion Sunday. And this year it will be different for all of us because we won't be able to literally be together for World Communion Sunday. However, we are still together. We are still together through Christ. And that remains the same. We are all invited to come, an invitation extended through love, and grace. As we come to the table, let us remember that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And friends, that is a gift that is still here in both good and troubled times. Let us remember to reach out to our brothers and sisters globally through love and with prayers. Although it's not written on my notebooks anymore, I still believe that love is the answer. We just can't seem to solve the problem. However, every day I witness the love of others and try to do my part. No matter how small it seems, what we do does make an impact. As we move through the week, I'll leave you with a familiar verse from 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now, these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love.
And striving so my love profess but not begin by love within the prophet sing. And strangely Come, Spirit, come, our hearts control, our spirit